Everybody, this is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Yeah, world's greatest. World's greatest. World's greatest living artist. <laughs> That's my theme song. World's greatest living artist. Dude, I gotta come up with a theme song. Theme song. World's greatest living artist. World's greatest living artist. Yeah. Or maybe it'll be a rap. World's greatest living artist. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet. What do you guys think? Should I do like a like a baby? I'm on my way. I'm on my way, baby. Should I do like a like a like a rap? World's. I maybe I'll get a, a local artist to do like a, a, a an intro theme song for my world's greatest living artist. That that sounds like the Beastie Boys. I love the Beastie Boys. Uh, or maybe they'll be like metal. World's greatest living artist. Or maybe it'll be like a, a what do you call those things? Uh, la, 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 la. Maybe it'll be like a, like a hipster song, you know? Maybe it'll be a hipster song, like with, with like with like chorus. La, 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 la. You know, like all hipster all hipster songs have like chorus in the background. Do, do, do. Maybe it'll be like that, or maybe like like some 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 person with a ukulele, big glasses and a ukulele. You know, <laughs> I'm not hating. I'm just saying. <laughs> it'll it'll be like that. Just saying. I'm not hating. I'm just saying. On my way, baby. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some. Pick some stuff, start some stuff to make you feel better. But first, I came here to drop off this back right up this box. Sorry about that, guys. Came to drop off this box here. Really, really quick. I need to drop it off. FedEx. First things first. Let's drop this off. Down, How's it going, guys? You again? Oh man, me every day. That's how I feel too. <laughs> I start waving at some beautiful people here. Beautiful people of Instagram. So yeah, I'm gonna make a theme song for my intro. I don't know is it is it if it's gonna be like metal. So you feel like your Instagram is. Shipping guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I wish I was with you too, sorry. But I'm gonna be with you in a little bit. I'm gonna go take you some some feel good medicine and some food. Won't that bring food? I can do that too. <laughs> I can do that too. I can I can bring everybody food. Ooh, careful what you say. Okay, oh, I stay. I stay behind what I they'll, say. They'll go for oh, yeah. <laughs> Turn you into Grubhub, dude. Grubhub. Oh, I feel like a truck smacked my face. You know what that feels like, though. <laughs> okay. What's that, Cristo? Cristo Rillo. I don't know, but Cristo. Bam. I need to do my hair. Look at this. No bueno anymore. It's true. <laughs> you know the drill. Thank you so much, Christine. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Take care. Right. Thank you so much. Take care. Let's do this. Vamos. Man, these doors are too slow for me. I need to move. These uh, automatic doors are like, they're not really automatic. They're like, I take my time type of doors. They're too slow for my style. 
How's it going? Wolverine. Wolverine. I love that. Wolverine. August the Adore. What's up, guys? I know you guys are like the good looking people in the Instagram. I know that. Everyone in Instagram is like super good looking. I need to get good looking, man. I mean, I'm, I'm already good looking, but I, I, I need to get my butt in shape. And I need to get, I need to get a, a, a good haircut. And I need some new, some new spectacles. I need to look super hipsterish this time around. I need to look super hipsterish. So that's what I'm doing. What's up, brother? So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be doing a, an intro. I need to find myself. See, I used to be in a rock band, so I can do it myself. I know I can do it myself, but it'll take like, it's, 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 it's not it, right? It's not it. I need, I need it to be like in a little recording studio or something. And I need to be like, it needs to be so cool. It needs to be like, not a ukulele or something like that. I think it needs to be like fireworks and shit. Like, world's greatest living artist. You know, like something super American. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll be like a, like a, like a, like a super serious thing. Like a piano, man. Like a grand piano. With some violins in there and the cello. Be like world's zoom, 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 ba, da, 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 world's greatest living artist, yeah. Dude, I can get someone. I know. I used to know some musicians. I think I I can still reach out to some musicians and be like, dude, I got this project. We got to do an intro for my for my YouTube uh, videos and my blogs. I need an intro. Sure as hell, need an intro, and it's got to be one of those badass intros. World's greatest living artist. I got someone who's doing my shirts already, so that's gonna be super cool. I got merch, guys. I got merch. No, I'm just joking. I don't got merch. It's just for me. <laughs> it's just for me. I sell paintings. Let's not get this confused, okay? I don't. I don't sell merch. Really, dude? I don't sell merch. I sell paintings. Oh, thank you, baby. This girl saying that I'm super good looking. Ooh, ooh la la. This girl, hey, you wanna have my babies? No, she already has my baby. <laughs> you already have my baby, huh, baby? <laughs> That's my wife right there. You already have my baby. But yeah, guys, you know, that's that's the, that's the way the cookie crumbles, baby. That's the way it is. That's how we're going to play it. We're not going to play. We're going to slay it. Slay it. Because I slay. See? See? I didn't know what bay they was. But I still slay. This is me on water. I don't even think this is the coffee. This is me on, on just this is this is me on water, guys. <laughs> this is one of the things that I'm finding out, man. I, I run a studio, right? There's about I don't know. There's about six of us now. I run an art studio, and, 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 and this shit's like this shit's supposed to be fun, man. If it's not fun, it's not it's not worth it. It's supposed to be fun. Too long, I stay too like too serious, you know. I'm like, I'm an artist, man. My passion, my passion. I'm an artist. Ugh, my vision, uh, boging and shit, you know. And then I was like, dude, what am I doing? Life is too short, you know. It, it, the funny thing is that life is too short to not have enough fun, and it's also too short to just fuck around, you know. So, so, so like, be serious about your work, but not about yourself. I think that that's what I, I think that that's the, 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 the combo. I think that's the perfect combo. Like be dead serious about your work, right? But 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 man, like have fun, make fun of it, you know, make fun of yourself. Like I don't know, I, I, that's me, anyways. I, I'm not trying to be a, a guru here and spread the message of love, man. Be zen. I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying, like it it, it, it ain't worth it if it ain't fun. It's definitely not worth it if it ain't fun. It sucks when it's not fun. I, you know, one of the things that I hate about about being around other artists sometimes is that they're not they're not having fun, man. They're upset. Many of them are upset. They're like they're like man, like they're like they have these long faces. Like they're they're upset. I don't know why. You know, 
They're like, it's easy for you because you're an extrovert. You're a sellout. I don't know. Is it easy for me? I don't know. How's it going? Hola la vie. Hola la vie. I love that. Hola la vie. How's it going? Claire Mac Living Art McLevin. Claire Mac McLevin. Mac Eleven. I don't know. Mac Claire. Claire. How's it going, Claire? Let's. I call it Claire. How's it going, Veronique? Veronique. I need to get some. here at a grocery store I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get the goods for my wife she needs the goods yeah but you know that's one of the things that I found out about being an artist man it's just if it ain't fun it ain't worth doing it I promise you that but but the thing I think is that we get we get confused like 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 you want to be serious you know you want to be serious but only with work if, if that makes any sense you know you want, you want to be serious with work not with yourself you're serious with yourself man you end up losing the game You end up losing at the game, you know? You're too serious. What's up, poor poor do lolly? How's it going? I'm gonna wave at this beautiful person. That's a mac and cheese. Excuse me? Where could I find the mac and cheese? It's gonna be aisle 16. I'm almost there with the mac and cheese, babe. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm almost there with the mac and cheese, baby. Mac and cheese, yeah! Now to know which one, I think it's the Kraft, right? Kraft mac and cheese. Thick and creamy, that sounds about right. Take two different types. Let's see which one is. Craft mac and cheese. I got the mac and cheese, babe. Now what we need is we need some fluids. Why? I'll get the fluids, baby. I'll get the fluids. Alright. Here we go, here we go. So yeah guys, I mean, you want to you wanna not take it too serious. I think that's the, a lot of times that's the problem. We take, we take stuff too serious. It becomes too serious. I think one of these mini ones. Take it too serious. And then we, we get to do nothing. You know? And that is... That is the problem. I 
I mean, to each their own, right? To each their own. But I, I personally think that I personally think that that if you're too serious, if you're too too serious, it ain't gonna work. And also, also if you if you if you're an artist, man, and you're you're having a hard time, I don't know, selling your work and stuff like that. It's, it's it usually excuse me it usually has to do with with um, the belief you have in yourself <laughs> look when when Mexis have a cold they get sprite <laughs> when Mexis, no that's just me that's just this Mexican <laughs> so give me a sprite man I want a sprite <laughs> cool. Yeah, I got there. Quick enough. How's it going, Cloud? Do you know good? How are you? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, something like that, you guys. You know, something like that. I don't know. If, uh, all right, I'm going to share a little something with you here. Sorry, I took you on a journey here with me to go get some, uh, some, a little bit of groceries or whatever. Um, look guys, one of the things that I found out as an artist, one of the very important things that I found out is that if you keep trying to play this game on your, on your own, it's going to be very difficult. It's very easy to get discouraged and it's also very easy to, 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 you don't want to play it anymore. You know, it's very, very easy to get discouraged. If you keep trying to do it yourself. Because. Because it involves so much. That's why. It involves so much. Being an artist. There's so much. There's so much that it involves. Uh, and I'm not talking about an artist like painting or just, you know, I'm talking about like, like running an art studio or, or doing it for, for, for a living. And it really depends, right? Also, because I can't generalize like that. I don't think it's fair. Some people are cool with just making a few bucks. Uh, and that's, that's totally fine. I mean, it's everyone's, you know, whatever, whatever they want to do. Uh, I'm not cool with making a few bucks. I don't like it. I, I despise it actually, because it always, it puts you in a place of fear. You know, uh, one of the things that I've learned in business is that is that if you just if you just make ends meet, you're always in you're always in in defense. You're never in offense. You know, you're always in defense. You're always trying to protect something. You're afraid, right? So, so it's one of the things that my wife and I we decided. You know what? We're not going to play this stupid defense game anymore. It's stupid for us, right? It's not right for us. It might be right for someone else, and depending on where you're at. Uh, it's not right for us. It just doesn't work. So we told ourselves, you know, we told ourselves, we told each other, hey, look, we're not going to play this game anymore. It doesn't work. We don't like it. It doesn't work to just make some, some income and always be like, oh, okay, well, we got to conserve. We got to be careful. 
I'm 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 tired of that. You know? How's it going, Ray 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 Burr? How's it going, Gary? So we're like, you know what? What do we do? And and uh, we came to this conclusion: go all in, or just don't fuck with it anymore. Like leave it alone. You know, go all in or just let it go. You know, let someone else, someone else's turn. And you know, I, I came to this place, to this conclusion: like, no, dude, like make it happen or let it go, because it's not, it's not, it's not fair. It's not fair to, to, it's not right, it's not fair, it doesn't work to just sort of show up, sort of win at it, sort of, you know, sort of get a little something, get paid a little bit, and not really see any fruit, you know, so... I've been an artist for a full-time artist for over seven years now, and and I found out, man, if you're not if you're not winning at it, you want to drop that. You want to drop it, and you could be winning at it in the sense that you're you're making a living and, and things are working, but not winning in a way where it's like, oh my god, like it's just pouring on me. You know, that that type of winning is possible. I've seen it. I've experienced it, but. But you can't do it alone. That's where I started this. Like, you can't do it alone. If you try to do it alone, uh, even if you're a speaker, man, if you're an your speaker, it's very hard to do it alone. Like, let's say that you become a speaker. I don't know. You you start doing TED Talks and shit like that. Or, or, or you have a, a lot of views on, on your YouTube or, or Instagram or whatever. It, it, it still doesn't work enough, right? Because you're, you're, it's, it's your, it's you only. It's not... How can I say this shit, man? It's not scalable, right? It's not scalable. It doesn't scale. The reason why Will Smith makes so much, makes so much money, and he's so you know famous and 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 blah blah blah, it's because hey, you look like Seth Rogen. <laughs> I like that, man. <laughs> oh man. I like the Mexi Seth Rogan, baby. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, very cool, man. I like that. Uh, but you know, it's not scalable, right? So you, so, so Will Smith, man, that that cat's scalable. He makes a movie, millions of people see it. You know, he makes a show, millions of people see it. It's scalable. It's just him. It's not a company. Maybe, maybe it is by at this time. By, maybe the Will Smith brand is probably like a business or something. But, but, uh, but it's just him, right? And this is what artists don't. We don't think like this. We're like, oh, how can I do my little painting? How can I do my little painting? And and the ten people on Facebook see it. Yeah, and then maybe someone will buy it. And I, I, I'm 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 laughing at it, right? But it, it ain't funny. For, for many people, it's very difficult, right? But this is how we think. Rather than being like, dude, I'm going to make a painting and millions of people are going to see it. Like Will Smith, I'll make a movie and millions of people will see it. I'll make a painting and millions of people will see it. Or millions of people will buy the print. Or millions of people will, will I don't know, will want to buy it. How about that? You know? <laughs> how about that? Maybe millions of people will want to buy it. But millions of people have to see it first. In order to have millions of millions of people wanting to buy it, if you want millions of people wanting to buy it, then you you probably have you, you probably need a billion people to see it. If you want a hundred thousand people to want to buy it, you probably you probably need a few million people to see it. You know, a couple of million of people to see it, and maybe about a hundred thousand people would want to buy it. That's how the game is played, right? You need lots of it. It needs to be scalable. There needs to be some sort of scale somewhere. The scale needs to happen somewhere. And if you can't scale it, baby, you can't play the game. It's very difficult to play the game if you can't scale it. You know, this is this is why physical trainers have such a hard time. They're like, man, I want to be a physical trainer. I want to be... I've talked to a couple of buddies, man, I want to be a physical trainer. I talked to someone here on Instagram. They're like, man, I want to do what you're doing, but in physical training. You know, I want to, I want to be a, tra- a personal trainer. And I'm like, dude, you, you, you can't scale. 
He's like, what, what, what do you mean? I was like, dude, you can't scale. You can't scale you. Like, like the only way that's going to work is if you get a couple of clients to pay you, I don't know, a few thousand bucks. And that's going to work for you, but, but, but then you're going to cap. You know, you're going to hit a cap somewhere. And then everything's gonna catch up with you, your lifestyle, dude. Before you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna be wanting, driving one of those really uh, nice beamers. You're gonna want those nice suits. You're not gonna you're not gonna settle for a three hundred bucks suit anymore. You don't want one of those, you know, two thousand bucks suits. It's gonna start. It's gonna start. Man, this shit happened to me, man. It's gonna start catching up to you. So you you need you need to you need to continue to make more dough, right? It's the only way that works. You need to continue to make more more dough because it's gonna start catching up to you. You're not gonna want the regular phone. You're gonna you're gonna want the nicer phone. You're not gonna want the you know. You're gonna start upgrading, and it's gonna catch up to you. So he's like, "What do you mean scale, dude? The only way you're gonna be able to scale is that if you turn into a a person that trains other trainers, or you have a group of trainers, or you or you teach. You know, you're, you're you 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 have a." a a show or, or 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 classes that you do that you teach. That's the only way that it's going to scale. Otherwise, it's not going to scale. How are you going to scale? You can't show up to to three different places at once. You just can't. You know. In order to be a business, is what I'm talking about. If you just want to make a living, you know. But see that the problem with making this is what what artists where artists go go off. This is, I didn't get this because I didn't know. It's it's when you know that you start understanding. I was like, man, I want to make a living as an artist. Shit, be careful what you wish for. Because if you start making a living as an artist before you know it, before you know it, it's good until it's not. You know, before you know it, everything starts, everything else starts catching up with you. Oh my God! Now I have to do Facebook ads, and then the Facebook ads, you know, well, you have to pay for that. Oh my God! Now I have to do this. Now, now you got some paintings. You sold some paintings, and now you have to package them. Who's gonna package them? You're gonna package them, you know. But if you package them, then you don't have time to paint. And if you don't have time to paint, and you can't, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a circle. You start chasing your tail. It's like a dog trying to, trying to chase his own tail. So because it's not scalable. And I'm talking about some very high end shit here right now. And this is what makes it difficult. So how do you, how do you fix that? You have to, you, you have to stop trying to do it yourself. That's how you fix it. And this is something that was very difficult for me to understand. Because I spend so much time, uh, it, it's a good thing that you start trying to do it yourself. Because that's where you should start. It's a good thing. But the the, the problem is that ninety nine percent of people throw the towel. They're like, "No, nope, f this. This is too hard." And the reality is that it is hard, but only if you if you keep trying to do it yourself. See, there there's fear involved. That's 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 where the problem is. There's fear involved. Most people don't want to hire. Most people don't want to don't want to invest. It's a it's a fear. It's a pattern. It's a pattern. Most people don't want to hire. I had such a such a hard time with this. I wanted to make it work, but but then have a hard time. Um, Going in and getting the resources needed, you know, getting the resources like, like Facebook ads. Let's say that you're an artist and you're five bucks a day ain't gonna cut it if you're trying to run a business. You know, five bucks, five dollar Facebook apps ads a day. Hey baby, <laughs> she's like, yay, I'm right here, baby. I'm taking the stairs, cause man. I'm too chubs for my style now. And someone just said that I look like Seth Rogen. <sighs> this is where I live. Yeah, what's up everybody? What's up? All right guys. Talk to you in a bit. Take care. Bye-bye.